Wives are trained health workers who help women during labor, delivery, and after the birth of their babies. U of I is offering a program to nurses to pursue a career in this field. KCRG TV 9's Libby Randall talked to a certified midwife at UIHC today. Libby, what makes this program so unique? Well, Danielle, this is the first program of its kind in Iowa. Educators say it will not only provide local patients with improved access to high quality maternal health care, but it will also benefit a lot of rural areas that don't see this type of care at all. Ultimately, my goal is to bring back to rural Iowa. Lisa Randall of Webster City has always wanted to pursue a career in midwifery. I started my nursing career 23 years ago, and I worked with some amazing midwives for my first nursing experience in Ames at Mary Greeley. That's why she says she was eager to join UIHC's new nurse midwifery education program. While many of the classes take place at UIHC, she already knows her plan is to bring that knowledge back to her hometown. Rural Iowa right now is in desperate need of OB care providers, whether it's an OBGYN or midwife, nurse practitioner, um, so ultimately, that is my goal is to bring back my degree and work in my local community. Nationwide, midwives attend fewer than 10% of hospital births, but in rural hospitals, that number is bumped up to 30%. RNs can now reach that certification through this program. It's hoped it will improve health care access and maternal health outcomes across the state. With midwifery, we can work here like we do at the university in a big practice where we go and do clinic in rural places. And the only time patients have to come here is when they have their baby. And they hope to include those rural areas in the lessons. Sometimes there's actual practices out in the rural settings that um, we're hoping to partner with in the future so our students can have some clinical experiences out in those settings as well. UIHC has been working with the state of Iowa, the Iowa Department of Health and Human Services, and Health Resources and Services Administration to make this program happen. Classes started just last week. In studio, Libby Randall, KCRG-TV 9 News.